Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Palm Masters video, and uh, today we're gonna check out three out of five, uh, Fall Morning. Which, by the way, if you guys haven't checked out the summon uh, stream for this, it was absolutely insane. You guys should go check out the summons. Uh, but yeah, a Fall Morty and 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 Banette, make a Banette over here. Unfortunately, we don't even have Master Mode this week. <laughs> <laughs> not even, you know, not to mention no, you know, Ghost Week, whatever. Uh, it was just regular Champion Sam, which obviously, you know, um, we we can't even reset because it's it's a new stadium. It's a Lola. We need like the 18 types to get the badge, and we can reset. And again, there's no mass mode, etc. So, so have to do the um. Thankfully, there is a Ghost Week with the battle challenge thing, so we can actually try them out here. Um, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. It like these are basically like a um regular champion stadium difficulty sort of I, I guess right so uh it's not terrible it's not terrible right obviously with master modes their opponent's probably gonna hit a bit harder uh assuming offensive parameters right but um we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes so uh this, the grid we're running is just the um most we get out of them damage wise right so we have power posture which is the uh attack debuff sync nuke we have scorching sync 550 um targets Burned on our sink. Um, not power powers. Power posture is not the sink. Uh, Pegna or just sink. Power posture is our regular uh, move, so we buff those a bit as well. Um, these are just in the way of things. We don't really need them. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, because there's also another burn sink nuke multiplier on, on the sink, right? Uh, innate sink. So to debuff attack, even though we could do it ourselves with two overwhelms, but obviously it's much, much better to use someone else, right? So we're gonna bring Dawn Bear over here for a charm to debuff attack, and then we'll bring Samurai to buff our own sets, which again, we could do ourselves as well, but it's just much easier uh, because we do need quite a few turns if we we're doing it ourselves, because first of all, this only goes up to plus four, not plus six, so there's that. But then that's gonna be what, four turns plus Willowist, five turns, and uh, we're not spending that many turns. We're just gonna bring in Hilbert in here instead. So let's, uh, let's do this, I guess. Let's uh, let's see how this goes go. for uh for Morty. So uh, I guess we'll start Will o Wisping straight off the bat. I want to say, All right? Will o Wisp, Charm, and the Skeller. Hopefully it hits. Okay, it hits. That's gonna be an AOE because of the uh thing, right? Mm, let me do an engine and I just get some accuracy buffs. Cause uh. I don't know, we don't really need the accuracy buffs. Not like we're gonna use Will Wisp again. Yeah, I probably didn't really need to do that. I don't think about it. Oh well. <laughs> uh, we're confused, which is slightly unfortunate. Um, in this case, we'll just Shadow Claw, I guess. We There's really nothing else to do with this guy <laughs> at this uh, this point in time. Alright, and the Scatter. He's gonna X Speed all in there, get some speed buffs. After we, uh, we get debuffed on speed, which is slightly cringe. Well, he's supposed to have got that, you know, Hilbert has impervious. Alright, so we uh, get rid of the disguise first. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Ah, hurt ourselves in confusion, so we can get the max nuke there with charm. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, hopefully we don't hurt ourselves in confusion here again. Alright, we got that, so. Um, minus six a physical attack, they're burned. All that stuff, as long as we get a crit here, it should be, uh, actually, no, no, it's impact. I was just thinking, like, if it was Shadow Claw. Uh, which, uh, speaking of, even though it's, like, the default ghost impact, sync move animation, which, honestly, I have not seen a lot, because there's not that many <laughs> use it, but it looks really, really good, and it really fits as well, you know, like, Bonette's, like, claws. So, even though it is, like, one of those lame default animations, it actually fits really well. Also, should have waterfalled instead of, uh... Locked up, but whatever. Anyways. Woodhammer. This guy has Woodhammer? Okay. <laughs> uh, as, as you guys, as guys could probably tell, um, but Nat's damage is, uh, not, not, not very good. Uh, not very good, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Alright. The opponents don't actually have a lot of Lesson Burn. So our burn's actually doing da like damage to these guys in comparison to like, you know, if we're like fighting like a regular champion stadium or Massimo stage, the burn will not be doing anything. But in this case, it's actually doing some damage, which is something, I guess. 
<laughs> Alright, Shadow Sneak to finish that off, hopefully, right before they sink. And we get our full nuke on some of these sides here as well. While we're at it. They're gonna Icy Wind. They're not gonna Icy Wind because they're gonna get destroyed by the sink move over here. Right? Again, uh, default sync move animation, but looks really, really cool. What can I say? It looks cool. <laughs> Fits Banette, at least. Or Mega Banette. I don't think that was a crit, though. Yeah, I don't think we crit there, unfortunately. Okay. Shall sneak to not finish that. <laughs> yeah. Banette's DPS, like, Banette's regular move damage. Wow, we took a lot there. Is lower than Fantinas. <laughs> so, slightly down bad there, unfortunately. Again, the sync move damage is actually pretty decent. I mean, mostly because it's attack, but um, the regular move damage is just so pitiful, man. <laughs> that looks so bad. <laughs> so, you know, if you guys do need a ghost type damage, you definitely just like wait for. Um... Oh, you can actually try this extreme battle as well. Daily extreme battle. Actually, Fat Alistair, look at that. Uh, but yeah, just like if you really, really need one, go like say for like, uh, anniversary Lily or something. If you ever gets rerun, <laughs> and not uh, this guy. But again, if you really, really like Morty the outfit, all that stuff. If you really like Mega Banana, then you probably go for it. It is limited after all, right? All right, let's see how we do against these uh, this uh, daily battle thing. Plus, again, we get to fight Alistair, which is cool. Alright. So, uh, we'll just start Shadow Clawing, I guess. Do we even have the gauges to start, start Shadow Clawing, though? Is the issue. Uh, we... Do, I want to say barely, though. Barely. Barely got away with that one. Sludge Bomb. That's cringe. Don't Sludge Bomb me. What the heck? All right, one more charm. That should be enough. Well, this remix really, really good. The uh, Galarian Gym Leader one. Not that he's the first one, but it's just good in general. All right. Sides are minus four. Uh, we should have our sync nuke up after this one, obviously. Uh, we'll see how this does, I guess. I mean. Not super high on it right now. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Might one shot um, if we crit. Uh, I don't know. It might be close. It might be close. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's close. Still, well, not one shot, but just finishing it off with the sync move. I mean, it is a daily extreme battle, which isn't super powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's enough. It's enough. Alright, let's Shadow Sneak the Palace out over here. Let's see how that goes. Um, I charmed the wrong unit. Unless we ripple effect. Rip, okay. On the bright side, that did absolutely nothing, because it's first of all it's burned and at minus six physical attack. <laughs> Alright. This I really do like the searing quick combo thing. Um obviously it's slightly wasted on this guy because it's you know. The damage is like really really bad, but like it's a pretty fun concept, right? That you get your uh, quick quick moves back um, I don't want to complete that because uh, <laughs> Those aren't my multiplier units, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice concept where uh, the opponent's status and then every time you use a quick move it you know, gets your quick moves back because a big thing that made ace or a little bad was like her damage wasn't even like terrible It's not great, but like her whole unit isn't that bad it's just that she has no MP refresh on her like quick moves, and like once you're out of that, you're just stuck with Shadow Claw, which is Shadow Claw is actually terrible. But like if you like Shadow Sneak up, or even like Phantom Four sometimes, like it's actually not as bad. But then like once you're out of those, which again you're really really you know it's super easy to get out of those because she only has one MPR two for each, which is just terrible, right? But yeah, this uh, this actually I think kind of fixes that issue Ace Roll had, right? So anyways. Uh, that's gonna be this one. I guess I'll be all in general. Guys, think in the comments down below. Like, if you're just finished my channel for some more of as content. Uh, we'll, ch uh, we'll check out the story. Actually, I already checked out the story, but uh, it's weird because I record the story first so I could get these stages so I could do the showcase video on Morty. 
But I upload the showcase video first because people want to watch that first. And then I upload the story video after the record the story first. But yeah, anyway, whatever. Um, I love the story, by the way. I think uh, this is the easily the best. Well, I wouldn't say easily, but in my opinion, personally, my personal taste, uh, it's it was my favorite. Um, it was my favorite seasonal uh, story event, right? So it was really really fun. So uh, look forward to that, I guess, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next one then.